all right this is a thank you video for Ma and Paul got my new t-shirt on they gave me one of the other ones too uh, I'm gonna do a video of some of the stuff that they sent me this is a, a thank you video Here are some really cool pottery shards that they sent me. We have a lot of pottery here, but it's not not got the same stuff in it that this pottery has. We find a lot of sand tempered pottery some shell tempered. This looks kind of like shell tempered but I'm not sure almost like gravel in it. That big old piece there. I'm gonna send them some of our pottery. I didn't even think about that when I sent them a package. And this here stuff is face paint. It's a real soft material. I guess they would rub it off or rub it on their skin or whatever see what it does on your finger pretty cool I like that All right. here is a big old tool it's very cool Another big tool, blade of some sort. Let's see if I can throw it down. A little hammer stone. Uh, we find these very similar to this here in Alabama. I think they used them to, to work the flint on the edges here. For knocking some of the larger flakes off of uh, small points. It's been my theory anyway. A net sinker. I think it's what we call it. Y'all call this? It's made out of a piece of steatite. Now, like Paul said, he sent me a letter. He didn't realize that anywhere else in the country had this stuff. We have a steatite or soapstone. And it feels when you rub it and rub your fingers, you can almost you can feel it on your fingers. It's a pretty strange stone. Another big hammer. See that worked edges all the way around it there. Pretty cool. Bag of pieces and parts, as they call it. We have a lot of bird points around here, but we don't ever have these with the little stems on them. Piece of a little, I think they all call that a desert side notch, is that correct? Excuse me, this is the first time I've ever set the camera up and filmed in this direction. And that's a neat material. I've never seen anything quite like that. That's a very, very, very fine flaking on this thing. I don't know if that's going to focus or not. I can't tell much about the picture from here.
and we don't find any obsidian around here. That's what, I assume that's what that is. I think that's obsidian and that base right there is obsidian. And that little point there is obsidian. Some pretty cool stuff. And then they sent me a uh, mono. Is that what this is? Mono. Matate is the dished out thing, right? Nice mono. See all the work around the outside edges. A lot of people don't appreciate stuff like this, but you know, most of the most of the wear on it is usage wear, usage work, and holding it. I think you know they beat with it and ground with it both. It's uh, very cool, I like that. And a pestle. Got a couple of pestles from around here. This is a double-ended pestle. It's been beat on. They use it on both ends. Most of them around here just have one end. That's a very, very nice artifact. I like that. And then they sent me a whole bunch of their little beads. even begin to try to say what kind of shell it was. I think they call these olivellas, the little long ones. Uh, not sure what these others are made of. These are are very neat. Uh, we don't sh find anything like this around here. I think it's real cool that uh, our little community of YouTubers are willing to swap and trade some artifacts. I mean, I, I don't know that I would ever get out west to hunt any of this stuff. And slide between my fingers. And it's a uh, real honor to have these artifacts. I want to give y'all a big thank you to Ma and Paul. And. Uh, I very much appreciate y'all sending me these artifacts. They will they are treasured to me. Thank you very much. We will get back with you soon.